we're doing something new here today. Uh, I've been loving to draw since I was 10 and for the past few years graphic design has been absolutely my passion and I've always found this form of communication really fascinating and now I find this industry to be full of hard-working people who are basically changing the world. So why am I here? I wanted to focus more on graphic design and decided to make this new series with tutorials for you. But uh, the more I thought about it, I wanted to do more than just to show you how to do stuff. I wanted to share my side of the story, my experience and my attitude to graphic design as a form of art. So today is the first episode, it's not going to be a tutorial. It's going to be a talk about tools in graphic design. So uh, the answer to this question is really simple. Um, first of all, we have lots of free books, free videos today. And what I recommend is actually to start playing and practicing these programs right now. Um, I think that the best way to learn Photoshop and Illustrator is actually to give yourself an assignment so that you can do something that you really want to do and something that you're really interested in. Like for example, if you want to learn Illustrator, then just create a simple logo design for yourself. If you want to learn a Photoshop, then just create a simple poster invitation for your birthday party or uh, just a simple birthday card for your boyfriend or a girlfriend. And this is it. I think that the best way to learn Photoshop and Illustrator is just to give yourself an assignment and to learn as you go. So I'm gonna be honest with you. You're not gonna become a professional designer only because you know how to use Photoshop and Illustrator. Well, let me explain it to you this way. Let's say you are in the kitchen and you have your pan and a pot and you know how to use those tools. But that still doesn't make you a chef because you're still gonna need to learn much more uh, to become a chef. For example, like different combination of ingredients and how can you make these ingredients taste really good with the help of this pen and the pot. The same thing applies to graphic design. So Photoshop and Illustrator are basically your pen and the pot. They are the tools which will help you to reach your goal, but you're still gonna need to learn much more other things like uh, color, color theory, typography, um, following a grid, not following a grid, and all of those graphic design principles to become a graphic designer. But the good news, you just don't have to be scared, you don't have to be worried because um, in order to learn all of those things, of course you can go to study to some university and I think universities are great. I think if you have such an opportunity, I would definitely recommend you doing it, especially if you are one of those people who just need this university environment and being around with like-minded people and professors. But uh, also there are people who focus better on their own and people who just don't have such an opportunity to go to study to some university. So what I'm trying to say here, we are living in the time that we don't necessarily need to go uh, to study to some educational establishment to learn uh, all of those principles. Because we don't live in 18th century anymore, we don't have to go to library because that's the only place where we can get the information from. So basically it's just enough for us to learn new things all the time and to grow because if we learn we'll grow and that's what really matters. So besides all of those uh, graphic design tools and all of those principles, let's say you know how to use Photoshop and Illustrator, let's say you know how to um, draw, how to paint and all of those graphic design principles. Doesn't make you a good designer? Well, I don't think so. Um, let me explain. 
explain it to you. The profession of designer existed long time before computer area and designers were able to do their job without computers and they were doing it quite well. They were doing it with the help of using pencil and paper and stencils and ink and paints and all of those simple tools. So what is actually the difference between an artist and a designer? Because there are lots of successful designers who can't even draw. Does it mean that those people are not designers? Well, I found the answer to this question. I think that they have one thing in common. And that is the most important thing you have to realize to become a really good designer. Uh, that is thinking outside the box, which is thinking creatively, creativity. You're not gonna become a designer, a good designer, if you don't think creatively. You're gonna become a professionally skilled performer, but not a designer, not a creator. Let's just go back to our, our kitchen. And let's say you know how to use pan and pot and all of the ingredients, but to become a chef, you're still gonna need to, to think creatively because a cook is not an artist, he just follows a recipe. A chef is an artist, he creates surprise, he creates joy, he creates pleasure. So it's really easy to buy a cook's book, it's really hard to find a chef's book. So the same thing I think applies to graphic design. That is why uh, knowing all of those tools and knowing all of those principles is not still making you a designer, a good designer, because you're still gonna need to have an interesting idea. At the end of the day, you wanna make sure that whoever you're designing for will get the message. So that's all for now. I just want to let you know that I'm here not to teach you how to learn all of these programs in a perfect way. I'm here to show you how to be creative because that's, I think, the most important thing you have to realize to become a graphic designer. I found the story here in graphic design. Every logo is a story, every design is a story, and that, I think, deserves to be told. I find it inspiring, I find it entertaining, I find it creative. I'm not going to be for everybody, I know that, that's okay. Uh, but if I'm for you, then you'll know. So thanks for watching. Bye.